We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Hedgesville football, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, glad to have you back. Uh, let's get right away into it and give us your expectations for this year. Uh, I think we have a senior heavy team that's going to go out and compete. And, you know, I think we've established a culture here that we want to that we wanted to build over the last four years, going into year five. Um, and for us, it's you know, it's, this is where we want to be going into the to year five. Coach, last season was a tough season. You had a lot of injuries, uh, the stadium situation, and everything like that. But uh, you still, you know, put that behind you and, and competed for the, throughout the year. Um, heading into this year, uh, who are some guys coming back and kind of with all the, I guess, stuff that happened that you couldn't really control, uh, how's it feel to head into this season with a new stadium and, and everybody hopefully healthy? I mean, I think last year was, you know, it's one of those things that we could, we could blame a lot of things on why things didn't go our way, but our kids didn't, and we understand what we were trying to do. And, you know, a lot of injuries and in the field situation and having to play so many road games sort of threw everybody for a loop. Uh, but being back now, uh, stadium's almost complete. Um, guys are excited. Uh, right now sitting at 107 kids in the program. Um, and for us, it's just, you know, they know the standard of what we're trying to get to, and I think that's what our all we're always going to fight for is to, to get to the standard. You mentioned that the stadium's almost complete. Will it be complete by Friday in time for the game against Rocktown? Uh, we're on the road uh, week one. We don't play at home until uh, September 27th. Uh, so okay. it'll be over uh, a year and some, I think, a year and two weeks since uh, our varsity's played at home. But we did that on purpose to make sure, you know, leave buffer room for anything that could have came our way as far as stadium maintenance. Um our JV opens up here Wednesday night uh, against Rocktown, so it should be ready to roll. All right, my apologies. I was looking at uh, the max prep schedule, and it had Rocktown listed as a home game for you guys. So your right. first term game is against Washington. Got it. Yes. Uh, well, since I'm already focused on Rocktown, I guess I'll have you focus in on Rocktown as well and talk about that matchup. I know it's a brand-new school, so might not be much to – no, but what do you know so far about them? Uh, they got a lot of athletes. Um, I mean, it's, you know, we, we've seen them on film. Uh, I've seen them twice in person. And, you know, each scrimmage that I, I've seen them at, they've gotten better as far as getting the ball to athletes in space. They got really good size up front. Uh, so for us, it's, you know, we're going to have to be alignment assignment, discipline in what we're trying to do because, I mean, they got a running back that can go, a quarterback that can run, and three or four guys out on the edge that are, you know, six one, and really long and athletic. So for us, it's going to it's going to be a challenge. Coach, uh, you mentioned having a lot of seniors and a pretty experienced team uh, coming back. Um, who do you anticipate to be some of the key contributors for your team this year? I mean, the, the, the same guys it's been for the last three years. Uh, you know, Levi's going to anchor us on that that front, and Jake Young, Jacob Care. Um, Chaz Milburn coming back, Dalton Harper. I mean, I can go on and on and on with these seniors. And Isaiah Newman, all these guys have been in here for three years and developed and, and built themselves into contributors of our program. And Eston Allen's another one. You know, it's just one of those things when you had 20, 26 seniors, it's, you know, it's come full circle. Those guys stayed through all the ups and downs and trying to build a program and trusted the process and, now they get to go out and show where we, how far we've come. Coach Faircloth, because of the numerous injuries that you guys had last year, uh, it had to, for almost every single position, become pretty much a uh, by committee. And the main one I want to focus in on is the quarterback spot because you saw a lot of guys in and out of that position that shined throughout last year's season as anybody I guess solidified themselves as the starting quarterback for you guys or will you go with a dual system or uh, by committee again you know uh, Chaz Milburn is our guy um, going, going into a sophomore year uh, he came back off the injury and I think he's better now and stronger now than he was before the injury uh, and, you know we still have Dalton uh, we got a young kid, Caleb Wood, and we got a, a freshman that's going to be playing uh, freshman and JV in Aubrey Burrell. So we got got a little bit more depth there this year than we have in the past, and you know it's going to starting to build it for the future. Uh, I want to focus, I guess, on 
your goals for this year? I know the past few years when we've asked that to you, Coach, uh, the first one's always make playoffs, and that already is accomplished with the Class 4A system and the fact that there's now only 16 schools in Class 4A for football. So what are the other goals, I guess, for your team that you want to see them achieve this year? I mean, our seniors want to play a home football game in the playoffs, and, you know, they want to win a playoff game. And, you know, but it, and that's what I've been hearing a lot lately is everybody say, well, everybody's automatically in and this, that, and the other. And now we're playing for seeding. The one thing I say is everybody has stayed. We didn't run from it. We're going to answer the mail. We're going to play who we play. We're going to play the Martinsburgs, the Jeffersons, the Spring Mills, the Musselman. You know, nobody's – we didn't run from it. So, at the end of the day, we're going to line up, play it, and play for seeding, and hopefully our seniors can, you know, lead us into that home playoff game or a, a playoff win. Coach, you mentioned the the early start to the season with the, the road games and your first home game not being until the 27th. Uh, obviously, though, last season kind of prepared you for that, being road warriors. So, I guess, how do you feel like your team will handle this first three weeks? Well, uh, like you said, I think we uh, we got our – our spell of it last year. So if, if we're not ready for it now, then I don't think we're ever going to be, um, you know, playing one home game last year and then fully getting, you know, you know, right now we're going to be a little over probably a month into it before we get our next home game. Um, our guys are ready for it. They're, they're going to answer the mail. They know how to prepare now for road games. And, you know, we're going to keep doing what we do on a daily basis. Have you guys gotten any scrimmages in under your belt yet? Yeah, we scrimmaged Fairmont Senior, North Marion, and Independence. How did um, uh, those go? I guess what did you like? They went from really your team? well. What did you uh, not like? Of course, all three of those teams are really, really good teams, and uh, we competed well with them. Um, did did some good things, some things we got to clean up. Um, but it was all one score games. It's, either way it went, and it, it was hard nosed competitive football, just beating beating the heck out of each other. And it was actually the old school football that we're trying to build here. Coach, we're going to continue the uh, fun questions again from last year. Our fun question to start this year is, outside of football, what's your favorite sport? Uh, they had to go basketball. Any reasoning behind that? Uh, just growing up playing it for so long and you know playing baseball for as long as I did. Baseball gets kind of boring to me. All right, fair enough. Thank you, Coach. All right, I appreciate it.